Hey guys, this is Aaron from Studio 3B. So today I wanted to go over what I've been working on for the majority of my after hours this past week. And that is the unfruitful attempts at getting macOS Ventura to run in a virtual box, in a virtual environment on Linux. Stay tuned. So as the title says, three virtual machines, one success. Yes, I have three attempts at getting this virtual machine to work in three different manners. And uh, the first one that I tried was the most labor intensive. It was one that I did from scratch. I didn't do a ton of research. Uh, it led me to more research, but I really just started off saying, can I run Mac OS Venture in a virtual machine? I tried numerous things. I tried taking ISOs of my open core install I tried making the base system DMG file in ISO and I tried all kinds of installers and settings and I did more and more research as I went. Eventually came as far as this. So I got my VM set up. I did all the Mac settings that you're supposed to do. So I got Mac OS Ventura. I set it to 64 bit Mac OS X generic. Under system, I gave it eight gigabytes of RAM, ICH nine, EFI, okay, I gave it two CPUs and I did not check this. I did check this, it didn't matter. Display, I gave it good amount of display, VBox VGA and storage. I gave it AHCI, SATA and solid state drive. Uh, USB, I made USB three by installing the virtual box extensions and there. So what I had to do was switch over to my Mac installation and download Ventura from the app store. Then I created an ISO from this app. And basically if you go online, there are tutorials on how to create an ISO from the install app. It basically, you have to mount the DMG and you have to create a, a image of that and turn that into an ISO. It's, it's several steps. I got a pure ISO of Ventura and that's just this one file right here, which I can mount and you can see it's install Mac OS Ventura. This is the plain one that gets built by Mac OS X. That's what ended up working the most. And finally I got it to boot and it gets to the installer. I'm able to get to the installer, but after it installs for about half hour, 45 minutes, this is what I get. It boots. This is after, after it installs the whole thing and I get the notorious kernel panic. I can't get past this kernel panic. I've tried everything. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the most, some of the most important steps that I had to do to get this to work was run some special commands from the command line, which I'll show you. So some of the most important commands are, and I'm not going to put the device key here. I don't want to show you, but uh, that's that can be found anywhere. But basically, these are these are the commands they run. You, I've tried several different Symbios configurations here, and supposedly the thing that that fixes the kernel panic is this line, but that didn't do it for me either. So I tried MacBook Pro 15.1. I tried Mac Pro 7.1. I tried iMac such and such. I don't know. I tried everything. It didn't matter what I did there. It um, still kernel panicked on me. So that was what I spent most of my time doing was trying to figure this out. I really wanted a purebred virtual machine that I could say, this is how you do it. Uh, and I just was not able to do that. So guys, if you were able to by hand create a virtual box, virtual machine with Mac OS Ventura, please leave a comment below about uh, where you found this and how to do it. And the next thing I tried, Mac OS VirtualBox by my spaghetti. What I, what I, I say I tried, I tried to reference. I didn't actually go through with executing most of it because reading through the documentation, I got down here and it doesn't even say it supports Ventura. And I thought, well, maybe I could learn something by reading the script. So I downloaded, I get, get cloned this repository 
And I looked at the script and I tried to get some information from the script. Even if you're to upgrade, take an upgrade path to Big Sur and Monterey. I don't know. It didn't seem like it was supported. So by the second attempt, I would say was it was more of a research attempt. I just tried to say, would this script work? And is there anything I can learn from it? And the answer was no. I wasn't able to learn anything from this script other than it's not supported. Guys, if you've had any success with my, my spaghetti Mac OS VirtualBox getting Ventura to run, please leave a comment below. I'd be curious to know what you did to get it working. Okay. And the winner, the winner of all these attempts was OSX KVM. I think you guys have heard of this if you're into virtual machines and Linux. These guys work closely with the Proxmox project and Nick Sherlock's blog, everything. And this works. This actually works. And this does not use VirtualBox. This uses Kimu or Qemu, however you pronounce that. It has a whole bunch of scripts written and it's very simple to use. And I pretty much within a few minutes was able to get a virtual machine up and running and starting to install. So uh, it does it all from command line. You don't need a like another Mac or a Hackintosh to get the installer. It actually just downloads everything for you from Apple's app store. So it just does a wget or something from, from there and it downloads the files. So yeah, this is probably the most pure solution and it's pr probably the best one. It's probably the best performance wise also. And there is a lot you could do with this project, with this solution. And let me show you how I got it to work. It pretty much uh, CD to OSX KVM. And there's all these scripts and, and you basically follow the steps on how to do it. There's some software you have to install and just read through these guys. You have to have all these things installed. Um, depending on what distro of Linux you're running, you need to put different things in here. But um, I followed all these steps. I don't know if they were all necessary, but it's pretty much like you give, they get a menu of uh, up to Sonoma. They're, su they're saying they support. And I, uh, I went with Ventura that says it's the recommended one. And it just uh, uses the DMG to IMG command to uh, get the DMG to the IMG and then it creates a QCOW2 and you basically run OpenCore and it uses OpenCore under the hood as the bootloader I'm pretty sure uh, boot not SH and if you run this it opens up a nice little QEMU window which looks a lot like An open core Hackintosh. So I just like the, the Mac disk and it looks a lot like a regular Hackintosh. Um, it has the open core bootloader. Boots fairly quickly and uh, yeah. The nice thing about this is I'm pretty sure you can configure GPU pass through and pass through your graphics card to this guy to give it even more performance. And I think that you can get close to native performance if you did a bunch of tweaks. And this is probably the method that they use for uh, running virtualization on top of Linux. So I think if you want to do Windows and Mac OS with a Linux running underneath it, I think they use QEMU or KEMU and they, and they have, uh, they, they do gra graphics card pass through, hardware pass throughs to get things to work more efficiently. But uh, yeah, it doesn't work too bad. I mean, you got everything here. The display is a little too large for my screen. I get, everything gets cut off at the bottom. Uh, or if I maximize it, it gets cut off at the top. But um, here's Launchpad. It takes us half a second to load. And I didn't sign into iCloud, so nothing's gonna really work too great, uh, but there it is. Three virtual machines, one success. This is the success, guys. And leave your comments below. Which virtual machines have you gotten working? Was this at all helpful? Do you want more information about these virtual machines? Leave a comment below. Thanks for 
watching, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you in a virtual machine later.